Greenake and Kim, a Belgian couple who spent a year and a half traveling the world before we renovated this Ford Transit van into a tiny house on wheels that we are now living and traveling in full time. For our first trip with the van, we drove 3000 kilometers north all the way from Belgium into the Swedish Arctic Circle where we've been enjoying winter van life for the past couple of weeks. Whoa. Today we're trading in our wheels for paws as we are going on a sunrise husky sledding tour with snow dog gliding through the magical winter landscapes of Swedish Lapland with our very own crew of husky friends. Good morning, welcome back to the Arctic Circle. Today is a super exciting day, we're gonna do something that I have literally been dreaming of doing for a few years now, something that is very high on my bucket list. We're gonna go dog sledding, husky sledding to be more precise. Super, super excited about that. But first we have to get this show on the road because as nice as it would be to dog sled here, we're sort of hoping for even more dreamy landscapes, if you can believe it. I don't know. But it's a beautiful day. It's a little bit cloudy. It's not too cold. First, making sure we have some uh, supplies to get through the day. I'll need a coffee though. Getting my barita license here. It's, I think, minus eight or something today. We still need our warmest winter clothes, I think, for the dog sledding. So we have some very good warm socks, ski pants, this sweater, hat, scarf, gloves. Coat, coat, coat. coat. Now you can really see that the, the days are getting longer. Now it's quarter to 10. It's already pretty clear. It's pretty 11. light, yeah. yeah. Otherwise at the 11 o'clock would still be really dark. So the days really get longer very, very fast. So what I'm most excited about today is we'll be driving our own dog sled. We'll not just be sitting on a dog sled, which is driven by a musher and driving dog sled is mushing, but we'll be mushers ourselves. The place we're going for the dog sledding is very close to Yukashervi, near Yukashervi, where we were um, a couple of days ago in the Ice Hotel. It has these amazing, beautiful, wintry landscapes and you can already see outside the window here. Here to welcome committee. Yeah, I'm ready for it. Seems the dogs are ready for it too. Hi guys, my name's Craig. We do dog sledding here. We do overnight traps, day adventures, and today we're really just going out to have a little bit of fun. I'm taking quite a big dog team out today, quite a strong dog team. So if I'm being honest, I'm a little bit frightened. So I've put 100 <laughs> kilos of dog meat oh, in, the, uh, <laughs> in the sled just in case we get lost so I can feed the dogs <laughs> and obviously I'll eat the dog meat as well if I have to Slightly frozen Easy careful Easy careful <laughs> oh my god, it's the cutest thing ever! Oh, he's so sweet! <laughs> it's all uh, pretty much Ragnar's family. Ragnar, he's the father, and then Mo, the little black dog there, she's the mother mm. okay. to Penzo, Pora. That's Lebowski, he's probably one of the strongest dogs, but he's not related. He looks like a Labrador, but he's actually a Husky. So if you say Labrador, Husky, Labrador, Husky, Lebowski. Lab, Husky, Lab, Husky, enough, she comes to Lebowski. Okay. <laughs> they're super, super sweet. Like when you yeah. pet they're them, they're sweet. all like... Yeah, yeah. I mean, all, all the dogs are. We spend a copious amount of time with them mm -hmm. from when they're young. And then we get them out as near enough every day to yeah. do something. Oh, or, we, or we're in the dog runs at least three or four times a day. And we oh. take them back to our cabins so the dogs get used to being in the house as yeah. well. Yeah. They're, they're not just working dogs. They're our babies. Hey! Oh. Oh, oh, oh. What is it? What is it? <laughs> 
Huskies just love to run and they love to slay, which is why on these tours, apparently a lot of the times, they take more sl more sleds and dogs. They're getting excited. More sleds and dogs than there are passengers and tourists mushing sleds, just because the dogs love to run. So this is the handle. Don't let go. Don't let go. Don't let go. Because if you let go, your partner sitting there is on their own and the dogs won't stop. <laughs> so you have two brakes, you have the drag mat you'll use most of the time to control the speed of the dogs so they're not going too far. When you stop, and we'll stop a few times to take photographs, then you're going to use this brake here and dig it into the snow. If it were a car, that's your hand brake and that's your, your normal brake. The excitement of the dogs is becoming contagious. They're like, fall like against me, human. Pat me, take me out for my morning run. Wow. She just needs a lot of attention. Beauty. Super excited, they seem really ready to go. Okay, they're going crazy. Captain Lane got the helm here. This is our sleigh. Where are the brakes again? Kim <laughs> will be here. I will be here doing nothing and playing you. In the front, at my mercy. I can do this, I got this. No one can sit like I can, I'm the best at sitting. I don't like to brag, but let's do it. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, they go so fast! They love this, you can just see! Oh my god, speed bumps, speed bumps! This is the best thing ever! The sun's rising. coming up in the back. Look at that, wow. <gasps> Whoa, they're so fast. Ooh, somebody should eat these dog, I'm quite tall. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, an experience. This is even cooler than I expected. It is cooler the than I expected. It's so beautiful. I mean, it's really peaceful and quiet up here. Whoa, look at that. You can see the sun rising in the back. We're now here on a frozen lake, just speeding along with the dogs. And the beautiful. Out of these pine trees, everything covered in snow. Everything covered in no snow. No sign of civilization whatsoever. No. Amazing. Keep on. Oh. Oh. Got two feet on the brake, you're like full weight on the brake, the dogs <laughs> still can't hold on when they start. So now we're going to change. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. We got driver Kim at the wheel here. Or, this I don't know, there's no wheel. Is it? The coolest thing I have ever done in my life, no? <laughs> this is just so amazing. Yeah, I'm driving a sleigh of huskies. Through the Arctic Circle. <laughs> How cool am I? Yeah. What did you do Sunday? Uh, uh, it's Saturday. It's Saturday. Today. <laughs> Best 
Besides that, my beard seems to be freezing up a little bit. <laughs> oh look, my scarf completely frozen. <laughs> Can you see it? I don't know. Mushing is even better than being the passenger. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, sitting here is nice, enjoying it, but... Like, the driving, the driving, the, like leaning the a bit, breaking a bit. That's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. It's so beautiful to watch the sunrise here. It's beautiful views in the sky. And like, here it's like and uber the white snow, but then when the sun is shining, it's like almost yellow, yeah, orange. orange. Here in the forest, it's uh, kind of like a video game. There's branches <laughs> coming at you at uh, quite high speeds. I need to be attentive all the time because otherwise you could smack oh, in my it's face. Oh, it's less cold when I lean in behind you like this. <laughs> well, that's it. It's trying to take a picture. Dogs took off without me. Guess I'm on my own in the wilderness here. Just gonna, gonna have to go full on bear grills here. Which reminds me, maybe I should start drinking my own pee already. I think that's what he's famous for. Not sure why he does it, but seems like a good idea. Can I take my foot off the brake now? Take foot off the brake? Okay, wait, okay, <laughs> just checking. <laughs> so we want to say a huge thank you to Snowdog for hosting us, for inviting us to come along with them. We had an absolute blast of a time going out with their team and going out with our new little husky friends. Um, they're actually also having a pretty hard time right now because of COVID. One of the caretakers for the dogs told us that their bookings are down about 95% compared to last year. So they're a bit low on funds and they're having um, to find alternative means to raise money for the dogs. Nobody is asking us to mention this. They don't even know that we're going to mention this. But they have a GoFundMe campaign on GoFundMe. Save Snow Dog that is supposed to help them get in a little bit more money right now during what is normally the high season but because of COVID has turned into a really, really difficult time uh, in order to get sure that they have all the money to take care of these beautiful, beautiful animals and give them a good home and proper care. They even take in dogs uh, which have been abused in the past which were in nasty situations. They treat them all super, super well. They're super healthy and you can all see they're just super happy. We will link the GoFundMe campaign down below. Yep. If you enjoyed this video, if it made you smile, yep. please consider to go check out the GoFundMe campaign. <laughs> Any donation you can make would make a huge difference to these Even dogs. Even the smallest amount makes a really big difference for them. It just costs a lot of money to feed them, to take care of them. and Veterinarian I mean, bills and yeah. ensure they have good housing. So we would love it if you would go and check it out. Thank you from the dogs too. They can't speak, but <laughs> I think they would say, waff, waff. <laughs> We've made a contribution to the Safe Snow Dog GoFundMe campaign to support Craig and his team in continuing to take great care of their husky family. No contribution is too small, and if a few people give just 10 US dollars, that helps buy a bag of dog food to feed the huskies. So now you can give the huskies some food. Chicken fat, because they need lots of fat and lots of food and lots of calories. Yes, there are some which are a bit too eager. Yeah. I want to <laughs> be careful with the fingers, because... Okay, we can start. As for Ro, be careful with the Okay. Okay. Wow. He was super eager. Yeah, you're more successful at it. Be careful with the finger. <laughs> These are our fellow passengers on the ride. Sorry, I forgot your names. I'm really bad. <laughs> I'm Julia. I'm Nico. Nico and Julia. We're Germans, but we're living in Stockholm. Yeah. And it was an awesome experience. Yeah, I like hope it? you liked it as well. Yeah, yeah. we loved it. Yeah, was it as good as you expected to be? Or? It was better. It was better, yeah. yeah. Was better. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're, we already had pretty high expectations, but still, it was even a lot better than we expected. Yeah. So. yeah, especially the sunrise. Yeah. Like, oh, that was shades. amazing. It was so nice. Yeah, it's really nice weather, even. Like, it's not cloudy at all or something, so it's yeah. Really yeah. Nice. And how so, long are you uh, in the area for? 
for another day actually. <laughs> yeah, another leave day. tomorrow. Okay. I'm okay. studying in Stockholm. Okay. Just working. Yeah. Um, yeah. Are you fly here? Or? We yeah. fly here. Okay. Yeah, here. Yeah. Now it's time to get warm in the fire hut. Enjoy a little bit of warm coffee. That is a fire hut oh. over there. We forgot to drink our own actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, fire is so nice. I started working in August. Okay. And I'm like, mm. What do you study? Ah, uh, business. Ah, so business, okay. Nothing, nothing too fancy. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Cheers. Enjoy. We moved there in August. It was quite a coincidence, actually. She started uh, working there, I started studying there. Obviously, we planned it, but we didn't think it worked out that well. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, we, it's, it's, it's a pretty nice city. Um, it's not too small, and for big city, it's pretty chill. One of my, I think this will be one of my best, so one of my favorite travel memories, I think. And so highly recommended if you do come yeah. to Sweden, to the Arctic, to Lapland, if you come to Kiruna, you want to go dog sledding, go with For these sure. guys. Yeah, they're, they're... It's amazing. Uh, Kim, did you just shrink? Instead of laughing at me, this is probably... <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is where we parked the car. I think a big pile of snow. I think this is like, yeah. Anyway. Back at the car, those guys just told us that whereas we thought it was gonna be minus six, and whereas the van seemed to think it was minus eight, it's currently minus 18. So it's time to get. All right, for now, a few hours later, had a bit of rest, had some food. Now it's time. A little bit of outside fun again. We uh, earlier we went to the shop and we bought some wood, and we're gonna have ourselves a nice bonfire here in the woods next to a frozen lake. Sounds good, doesn't it? Pretty excited about it. So just let's go. Uh, that reminds me, I need to get a lighter. I think everybody has one of these. It's a, called a crab drawer. It's where random stuff just collects, and this is our crab drawer. Oh wait, I almost forgot the most important thing. We also bought some wine, because hey, eh, why not? So, a decent size ticket shoot that I see us over a few hours. And maybe, if we get lucky, we can see the Northern Lights again. We'll Trying to open the bag, problem solving number one. Using this uh, multi-tool, it's like a Leatherman, but not really a Leatherman. Got this from Kim's dad. It has come in handy so many times. Thanks, Theo. Ah, manly man, make fire. <laughs> and we're even doing the easy version of man makes fire. <laughs> we're doing man just takes lighter and uses it to light cardboard. <laughs> manly man makes big fire. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Hope I don't set my glove on fire. <laughs> so that was it, the great fire for that. And I'll be on your arm. My love. In case anyone was doubting. I think we have now established Naik's manliness. He has lit fire in wild nature in Arctic Sweden. Manly man. Cheers. Cheers. All this longing, but it to Lapland, to Sweden. To a really awesome trip so far. My favorite part of the whole trip so far was definitely the dog sledding. I mean, I don't see how it's gonna get much better than that anytime soon. That was a major bucket list item for me for years now. I've been wanting to do that so badly. So glad we got to do it today. It exceeded my expectations. My love, I send you kisses. My heart belongs to you. Just, uh, drinking my wine here. It's, I think, almost minus 20 now. 
and it's, the wine is freezing in my glass. So I have to be very quick when drinking it. I don't think you can see it very well on camera. But like, the, the edges are already frozen a bit. So now to prevent further damage, I put the wine bottle on the grill. Which is absolutely super safe and gonna prevent further damage. Yeah, I'm just trying to keep it a little bit warm. Not warm, but like... <laughs> it's going smooth, it's going it from smooth. from freezing, because I mean, frozen wine. But otherwise, I don't want glue wine either, so it's a thin balance, I would say. Alrighty, got it! So this wouldn't be a bonfire if we didn't have some marshmallows to roast, which is exactly the plan, which is why I had to go fetch these little twigs that took off a tree, that small bush actually, that seemed pretty dead. They also came off quite easily, which confirms that suspicion. Can you tell that we've never really done this before? Mm, not long, please. <laughs> hmm? Not too long, please. Hmm. Yeah, but that's just one side. We need to do the other side a little bit as well. If anyone's watching who actually knows how to properly roast a marshmallow, please let me know in the comment section. I'd love to know. Uh oh. <laughs> I think they're done. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that these are done. You can always make new ones. Are you sure these twigs are not poisonous? I'm not actually. <laughs> How could I possibly know that? Mm. They're pretty good though. Very fluffy. Yeah? Slightly charred but not too much. Do they taste poisonous? Slightly. <laughs> Makes it all better I'd say. <laughs> There's actually a pretty good chance of seeing Northern Lights tonight, so I'm uh, gonna head on out to the frozen lake here. See if we can uh, find ourselves a bit of light festivities in the sky. So this is down by the river. Like this will be the river bank, this bit over here, and this all is yeah. solidly yeah. frozen and about A good knees worth of snow we have here. So let's stick to the main walking path, shall we? Now normally north should be that way. I think it's a little bit over there. I think if we walk a bit around the corner it will be better. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Told you it was deep. Oh. This looks like a very comfy spot to watch the northern lights, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Perfect. <laughs> what are you doing? Not only are you facing the wrong way, but this looks really weird. North is that way. No, I mean, it's quite comfy though. Oh my god. I swear his butt is gonna freeze off like this. <sighs> Is it as cold as it looks? It's actually not cold at all. I mean, because my jacket is really thick, I can't feel any cold throughout the jacket. Just my butt is like slightly cold. Careful with the goods, careful with the goods. But uh, the upside is that I can get my feet a bit off the ground. And though that's actually the coolest part of my body at the moment. So actually this is quite comfy. Lovely. I could stay here for half an hour easily. Really enjoyed just Northern Lights. Amazing time for a not a nice marshmallow here. Not, not a nice marshmallow. Time. We're also gonna 
end this video here. We want to really thank you yeah. for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please don't forget to check out um, the GoFundMe page for Snow Dog. We love those guys and we know that any help from you would be much, much appreciated yeah. and make a big difference to them. Even the smallest amount will make a really big difference for them. So yeah. go check out if you have a... Uh, just go check them out. They're amazing. Oh. <laughs>